All right. So you flatten it a little bit, and then we're gonna make a lip around, you know, just like that. So you leave about half an inch, and, okay, excellent. Now we're gonna lift hand. it up. Okay. And put it on the back of your hand. And you stretch it and move it slowly. See, it's so easy. Just turn it around a little bit. And because the dough is very warm outside, so the dough is very soft. Good, okay, I think that's good. Yeah, pretty good, All see? All right. Wow, look at you. Talent in the kitchen, forget <laughs> about it. Now, we're gonna brush it with a little olive oil. Just like, let me do it first here, just like this, a little bit. All right, so we're gonna make one with some stuff on it and one with smoked salmon. Okay. Okay, you brush it a little bit with that. Okay. All right. Yeah. And now put a little red onions on top. Sprinkle them a little bit. All right. Yeah, just sprinkle them evenly. Sorry about the onions, but I have to do it. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Love it. It goes very well with the smoked salmon. All right. All right, excellent. So far, so good, see? Now, here we have a spatula. Put it on here, and now you go underneath here. Yeah, right underneath. And now you put it right in the oven. On the left side. Over here? Yeah, on the right side we put the wood. Okay, okay. now, push, push it out, oh, oh, perfect. Push it out, good. <laughs> Look at him. You know what, let's put a little bit of pesto on here, huh? Okay. Okay, so you pretty light, but enough. Yeah, enough, it's enough. Now get a handful of the cheese here. Okay. All right. That's fine. Well, now, this is what we were the first one to. We put goat cheese on the pizza. Okay, oh, I see. So at that time, goat cheese was like, everybody said, Ugh, goat cheese is terrible, so. Okay, we're gonna put a little goat cheese on here. So far, so good. So we have sauteed corn, rapini. What are that? Onion. Oh, I love mushrooms. Oh, yeah, it. keep it coming. And a few onions maybe, huh? And okay. then we have some tomatoes and everything. So now what you do, you sprinkle everything a little bit on it. Now you see how fast it cooks? Oh it's my goodness, brown yeah. Already on this side, so. Yeah, I can see the browning. Yeah. All right, put on a little corn. Okay, you see, we'll put the corn here. Oh, this is gonna be fabulous. So fabulous. These are caramelized onions. Okay. Excellent, and a few tomatoes. Yes. And uh, I find tomato. a little chili. Can't beat them. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, fine. And I'm a little chili flakes. This. Okay, to make it <laughs> spice it up. Now look at that. So it cooks very fast. See, oh. Already done. So let's leave this one here. Okay. All right. Yes. So you put it in and take it out. All right, good. Voila. Voila. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna make the smoked salmon pizza here. So we make all our own smoked salmon here too, and the guy in the back cuts it really thin. So it's important to cut them really thin, as you can see. Okay. This is a dill cream, and bring me a little caviar from the back. The black one, chef? The black one, yeah. Expensive one, right? Expensive one, the good one. And then it is fine. So now you use a spoonful of that, throughout, and put it and spread it out nicely. Okay. Now we're gonna cover it with smoked salmon here. You can see a beautiful thin oh, slice. Oh man. Something told me not to eat before I came here. Okay. A little chives. Oh. And then put a little caviar. Yeah. Caviar, my. baby. We're doing it. <laughs> Life is too short, huh? 
And now, I'm gonna cut it. You could cut it in small wedges, so to have it like with a glass of wine or okay. champagne or things like that. You get the first one. All right, you see this? Now I have to taste what you did. Not bad for a new chef in the kitchen. Scrumptious. You know, it's so interesting, even after 30 years, this is still as popular as any dish we ever did. All right, your pizza is ready. Stop eating. Take out <laughs> the over pizza. Here eating. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Now, you want to put it here? All right. Not bad for a beginner. Look at Unbelievable. that. Unbelievable. Now I have to ask you. Yeah. Are you uh, working with your sons already? Oh yeah, totally. On cooking. I actually have one of my sons just started at Cornell. You know, they have a restaurant, hotel management school. Okay. They're a very famous one. My eight-year-old one loves to cook. So I think it's in the family. Maybe the genes have something to do with would it. Would you like them to take over the business one day? I would, yeah. If he has the passion and he really loves it, yeah. Just to sit in an office and be on a computer all day long, it would be boring. Right. And he won't be successful. And the time went so fast. How long did it take for us to do this? So you were, you were pretty minutes. fast. Yeah, you did a good job. All I think right. by the time you stretched it all, put everything on in five minutes, you can make it. <laughs> all right. Right here with Wolfgang Puck and Spago, Beverly Hills. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thank you. Anytime you can come to my kitchen. <laughs> I wouldn't say that because I'll be here every day. All right. <laughs> and with Wolfgang Puck, I'm Lee Hawkins. We'll see you next time. I wanted to be a race car driver, but I didn't have any money, so I need money to do that. And uh, so when I, somebody in New York then told me, we have a job offer for you if you want in Indianapolis. So that was in 1974, and I said, I'm going to Indianapolis. I love fashion too. You know, I'm surrounded by women my whole life. <laughs> so obviously I'm going to, I love fashion. You and fashion. Scott, man. Yeah. I, I, I feel sorry I for you sometimes. It, but, you, know, you should. But you got to branch off someday.